Entrez. Detective, what a pleasure. I did not expect to see you in my chambers. In a purely professional capacity, I can assure you. There is no need to act so stiff, Detective. Madame, after the revelation of your actions last night, I'm afraid my sense of humor is all but gone. I will not apologize again for merely trying to help. Shall we get straight to it then? Let us not waste your time any further, Detective. That would be Inge. She has been one of the most promising young women that has come from the shelter. Madame Vandenbosch took in a young lady from your shelter. There is no need to sound so surprised, Detective. She does have a heart. I did not mean to sound so cruel. I just did not expect Madame to hire someone of that background after the incident with her previous maid, Florette. People change, Detective. You should not judge someone on their past actions. Believe me, Countess. I know that only too well. Be careful, Detective. That almost sounded like a compliment. It is your actions in this house that have been questionable, Madame. Your work outside is something that many more could take note of. We do what we can. We wouldn't be doing a very good job if I could only help one girl. I in fact found work for one of them as a maid in Monsieur Da Silva's house recently. She has fitted into Monsieur's home well. What is better, Detective? That she remained in an abusive house, or she is able to rebuild her life with an honest wage in a prosperous house. When put like that, is she happy in her position? The happiest she has been in years. I check in with them all as often as possible. And if there was a problem, I would know. Merci, madame. Aha. Go ahead, detective. A compliment and now an apology. Well, detective, you certainly have changed your tune. There was something I was still unsure of. 
You mentioned that your training was some years ago. From my days as a nurse, oui. If that is so, why would you have brought several pieces of equipment usually found in a physician's bag? One must always be prepared, detective. Prepared? At an engagement celebration? If I had not brought them, I would not have been able to assist you last night. Perhaps you should be thankful for my precaution and not so suspicious. Merci, madame. Detective, what can I do for you? Mademoiselle, I am sure you understand my reasoning for such intrusion. If it's going to clear my name, be my guest. If you wouldn't mind answering some questions, it can hopefully be cleared faster. Like I said, he's not the man he wants everyone to think he is. Oui. But how is it you came to that conclusion? You don't really want me to recount every conversation I've had with him, do you? There is one particular I had in mind. An argument would imply it was a two-way conversation. And that is not how it was? Here it is. I've been helping Angeline get exposure, her marriage to Gideon is big news, and his work is really paving the way for others. I saw the chance to get their names out there, and he didn't like it. What was there not to like? Your guess is as good as mine, detective. But if I had to, I'd say he was jealous it wasn't his name at the top of the article. And his reason to storm off? Oh, you know about that. Let's just say I didn't accept his pathetic attempt to get me to stop the story. If you're gonna try and pay someone off, at least make it worth their while. You've really got a fascination with that guy, huh? I would not say fascination. An interest, perhaps. Well, I'll save you the bother of trying to find out more about him. He's not that interesting. In fact, he's a bit of a wimp if you ask me. 
That is not the impression I got of him. That's because you've only seen the side of him he wants you to. He knows what to say in front of the right people. But behind closed doors, he's clueless. Let me guess. The first thing he told you was that he was a union leader. No, the voice of the people. A man that is proud of his work is not something to be sneered at. Don't get me wrong, he has a way with words, and he can certainly rally a crowd, but that's about it. At the end of the day, he's a representative and nothing more. He's got to play the part, not just learn the lines. Merci, mademoiselle. I shall leave you to relax. Sure thing, detective. And if you change your mind on that exclusive about that shooting... If I do change it, you shall be the first to know.
Go right ahead, detective. All Felix cared about was money and filling his pockets with it. That's why he got into bed with De Silver. The Major was not in need of money, though. Need and want are two very different things. Did he need to move here and leech off the Madame? No, but he wanted to. As far as I know, De Silva hired him to work security. He was worried what could happen to his precious factories if things got ugly. And your reporters were there to cover the story when it did turn that way. My reporters go where there is news to be told. And you predicted the violence that occurred? Anyone could see that was gonna happen. If you ask me, Hugo should have acted sooner. Merci, mademoiselle. I shall leave you to relax. Huh.
Mademoiselle, we meet again. Bonjour, Monsieur Poirot. Pardon, Détective Poirot. Just a detective is quite all right. Bon, can I help you with something? I was taking him a plate of food, but he didn't answer to my knocking. You then entered the study. I did. He wasn't moving, he just lay there. I did not mean to upset you again. Seeing him there would be troubling for anyone, and I'm sure it is not a memory you wish to relive. I suppose we're like a family. We argue, but most of the time we get along. You must all be quite close, then. Some more than others. You refer to whom, mademoiselle? Well, Maman Ré, sorry, Rihanna, she's been here the longest, and she's very close with Lizzie on account of Luke. Maman Ré is Luke's sister. You did not know that. I thought she would have said. She talks about him all the time. It must have been awful, losing him in those riots. Apparently, he was right at the front when they were charged. They didn't stand a chance. If I had been the one responsible for his death, 
I wouldn't want Mamoré looking for me. Mademoiselle Rihanna, uh, Maman Ré, she has expressed her desire for revenge. Every time she talks about what happened. I guess you wouldn't know anything about life on the streets. It is not an experience I have had to face personally, but I understand that many are forced into it, and the lifestyle that comes with it. The lifestyle of a thief, you mean? Put rather bluntly, oui. You are the first officer that has not taken one look at me and pulled out the handcuffs. Mademoiselle, I can see you have turned your life around, and I commend you on your efforts. Without the Countess, I would probably be rotting in a cell somewhere. Merci, Mademoiselle.